For as long as I've owned the Crux, I have always wanted to try the Allied Echo. In fact, maybe dating back to before the Crux. It's always been on the top of this short list of bikes that I consider like the best do-it-all bikes. And on paper, it was everything that I wanted out of a bike. I just didn't know anyone who had ridden one. And look, I'm big on recommendations. All of that changed recently when I took a trip to Rogers, Arkansas, which is just outside of Bentonville, which a lot of us Americans know as like the Walmart town of America. And I had a chance to demo the Allied Echo. Let me tell you, I was blown away. And today I wanna to share my thoughts on this because like me, you might be interested, but you just don't know anyone who's actually ridden one of these. And knowing what I know now, I, I seriously can't help but wonder if I would have gone a different direction with the Crux purchase. As always, I share my perspective as a pretty normal dude. I ride 7,500 miles a year, hold down a normal nine to five job, enter the occasional race, and I don't get paid to ride a bike. This video isn't sponsored. It's not sponsored by Allied. I've actually just reached out to them on Instagram and coordinated a tour of their facility. And look, I'd encourage you to do the same. They're a fine bunch of folks over there. I had a chance to spend a few hours with them, kind of understanding their manufacturing process from cutting carbon to layup, to molding, to sanding to the finish, to paint, to the final product as they put it into the box. You can see it all right there, literally. You can shake hands with the person who's doing the carbon layup on your fork. It's a pretty cool experience. And let me start by saying that the Echo has always appealed to me because I ride a lot of mixed terrain and I typically ride lighter gravel. If you've seen any of my other videos about the Crux or the Upper, you would know this. I want something that's more forgiving than a road bike, but I still want those road characteristics because I don't want a bike that feels like a slog when you're on pavement. And being that this was a demo bike, it was outfitted with SRAM Rival Axis it had Industry 9 wheels and WTB Ventures in 40 millimeters. I believe that the Echo has a stated max tire clearance of 40 millimeters, but I think that's pretty conservative because it looked like there was a little bit more room to squeeze larger tires on there. Probably has a lot to do with the wheel tire interface as well. They typically go conservative on those requirements. To test the Echo on road, I met up with my friend Tommy. Thanks Tommy for showing me around town. We met at the Meteor and headed out to do one of the airport loops. It's like a quick 28 mile fast loop. And look, if I didn't know any better, you could have told me that I was on a road bike and I would have never questioned it. We did some short punchy climbs, we descended a little bit and came into some tight corners and the Echo handled really, really well. Again, it felt very much like a road bike and I was blown away. The next day I took the Echo out for a quick spin on some of Bentonville's single track that's accessible right out of town. The trail system is, it's like far beyond what you'd imagine you'd find in Northwest Arkansas. It's, it's truly like mind blowing. And as expected, the Echo was like lightning fast on gravel. It truly felt like a road bike with clearance for 40 millimeter tires. And Bentonville has a lot of like these chunky rocks. Like you feel like you're always on this moving surface. And the Echo seemed to float over most of it. But look, you'd probably wanna stick to some lighter gravel or make sure that your handling skills are dialed up a notch if you're riding in anything rough. The Echo overall performed really well on both road and gravel. I'd say that it leans more road and based on my riding style, that might make it the perfect bike for me. Something that'll get me quickly to dirt quickly home from dirt without the typical woes of riding a mountain bike or a traditional gravel bike with more slack geometry and something I can throw on the back of my van and go do like a road group ride or go ride gravel with my friends wherever I find myself. I mean, to me, that is like the essence of a do it all bike or a quiver killer as we've talked about. If you're in the market for a gravel bike or you just like to look at gravel bikes, I think that you should give a strong look to the Allied Echo. Especially if you're like me and you lean a little bit more road or towards light gravel, or you just want an all out fast gravel bike and you don't have a need for clearance to mount 50 millimeter tires. Because come on, if you're mounting tires that big, at some point, like aren't you just on the wrong bike? It might be controversial. Drop me a comment below and let me know if you agree or disagree. Do you want all that tire clearance or do you find that you're actually okay with like 40, 42, 44 millimeters? Anyways, huge thanks to Melissa, Drew, Sam, and the team at Allied for taking the time out of their day to answer all my normal dude 
kind of green questions about the manufacturing process. The BC40, the Echo, and the new Alpha. We'll talk about that in the coming weeks. Anyways, thanks for watching. Until next time.